हेलो या हाय अर्जुन गुड इवनिंग वेरी गुड इवनिंग नाइस टू मीट यू हाउ आर यू डूइंग सेम हियर ओके सो हैव वी मेट बिफोर ऑन क्लैपिंग द फर्स्ट टाइम वी आर इंटरैक्टिंग yes uh, we are first time interacting and i have no doubts over it you might you know you are from uh, you are tutoring from very long so may, maybe you ask uh, for <laughs> no when i saw you i felt like i might have interacted with you it was it's a very i don't know it was like a deja vu kind of a moment so i just thought let me reconfirm once okay i was figuring out how to connect my earbuds but they are not connecting for some reason i don't know okay but your voice is completely clear are you able to hear me well yeah i am yeah um not an issue yeah this like this. this works okay yeah so the background that you have trust me it's stunning like your background so very beautiful wallpaper it's a <laughs> wallpaper or it's like uh, that paint the stencils that you mark what is it yeah it's painted wallpaper painted wallpaper wow that's really cool yeah thank you so who 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 decided uh, the it the whole design was decided by uh, papa only uh, and uh, mm-hmm. so we were not aware about it your dad definitely has a very good taste in interiors yeah <laughs> okay so yeah hmm? yeah and uh, where are so you my from my name is megha nayak i am an ielts trainer so i live in bangalore right now and i teach english spoken english and ielts for aspirants who want to go abroad yeah um mega i have a question um how necessary is it to be a very fluent speaker for an for an english tra- teacher as well for an english teacher who is uh, teaching in schools teaching in uh, you know afterwards colleges and uh, etc so how necessary is it according to you it's mandatory for a teacher to be fluent in english because um a lot of students are going to look up to you you have the responsibility to uh, you know give the correct message to give the correct content to your students so if the teacher themselves are if the teachers themselves are speaking incorrectly see some slip ups happen that's okay we are all humans you can't be too perfect at anything yeah. but if you're not fluent and you only sound like an amateur speaker then the students would definitely be able to spot it and they won't be able to have that kind of confidence in you right yeah. so it's important to build your fluency yeah okay um actually i am a teacher in transition right now oh, so, wow great <clears throat> yeah so that's what uh, i was wondering um when i was a kid uh, in many schools in different schools i have learned i have studied so mm-hmm. i never saw any teacher uh, and uh, one one other fact overlapping fact over that that i have been a hindi medium student for most of my life so for how that, many years were you in hindi medium what for how many years did you study in hindi medium entirety actually uh, just the kgs i was just a cute little kid when i was uh, <laughs> in english medium school um that transfers to the location Uh, that decision because we were living in south in chennai when i was mm-hmm. young so afterwards uh, my grandfather grandfather expired we came came here so okay. yeah now uh, here there are uh, you know less to none uh, english medium schools in our village and uh, uh, surroundings so yeah that's the that's the whole story okay okay i understand that great so good job even though you didn't have the opportunity or to surround yourself with english speakers in your childhood you you somehow seem to manage pretty well because i could never have guessed that you have studied in a hindi medium you speak confidently and you have that flair when you're talking in english so good thank you so much thank you so much ma'am means mean, means a lot actually um i would say that uh, i have worked a lot in uh, last uh, few years on my english and uh, as a subject itself english was uh, somehow i don't know the reasons somehow it was fascinating to me the most in my schooling and all 
so okay. that's why i always appeared to be interested in english i was scoring the most marks in my classrooms uh, most of the time in english subject yeah. so yeah so good. so good so i think english was somewhere your calling right at a very young age only you might have realized that okay this is one subject that i'm doing pretty well at and i can do something about it so you said you are a teacher in in training right so for which subject it's specifically for english or any other subjects also you about to teach uh yeah on paper um there is a course which is very popular it's called b8 i'm not sure it's out of rajasthan is famous or not b8 so it's a certificate diploma kind of course so i did that and uh, it had nothing to do with the, the training aspect so now i am deciding to uh, you know turn my fate into an english teacher first and then i can uh, you know look up uh, to my dreams to other things other big things that i want to achieve in my life so actually uh, one more thing that i want to highlight here because uh, i have uh, done 6 uh, to 7 sessions before this uh, session we are having so most of these sessions have been about ambitions and also i badly wanted to have a fun session uh, you know yeah let's talk about something different let's yeah. talk about entertainment a little bit so um, are you somebody who enjoys watching movies and web series or you like following about celebrities when who is getting married so do you like doing all of this yeah actually uh, yeah it's it's a very interesting topic and i guess if i'm not wrong it was session topic as well for today yeah that's a session topic but it's also a great conversation topic yeah, given the definitely. fact that over the last two years so many of our top bollywood actors and actresses are getting married so it's interesting to follow that right do you follow it no actually um, i have been you know uh, a very uh, true to life person so okay. i always always you know peek into truth in anything so even the you know uh, the thing is uh, people are you know quite fascinated about ranbir alia marriage or uh, what to katrina and uh, vicky kaushal maybe uh, yeah so uh, the kind of coverage that was happening the kind of things uh, silly things that were that were running i won't i don't want to go into the nitty gritties but they were quite you know um looking like a business kind of uh, you know union and not uh, a real union that it should be you know okay. between two people we uh, you know over the top things um, i i don't think you think so but i think so yeah there are a lot of things that you know it should be not it should not be like this like a alliance it was more like a um... like a business alliance rather than an emotional bond like yes that. yes that, that's what so, i was so um when we are kids we all have some actor or actress that we really look up to uh, we watch their movies we see the characters and we imagine that we are those characters right yeah. so when you were a kid uh, who are some celebrities or what were those characters that you wish you could be one day so you can tell me about that yeah um when i was kid uh Spider-Man Spider-Man was uh, my favorite um in terms of uh, superheroes and uh, what about you So for me superheroes I was not that into superheroes actually yeah. um but I used to love watching Pokemon right so they were Pokemon trainers and they were like so many amazing pokemons with super powers etc so I had this fascination for collecting those cards you know you would buy cheetos or any chips and you would get the tattoos and cards and stuff like that with pokemon stuff pokemon goodies yeah right so that was something that i was uh, extremely fascinated with <laughs> yeah um in terms of anime or cartoon there was uh, just one thing that i was following uh, in my childhood that was tom and jerry i was watching all day oh wow yeah that's like ev- all time favorite that's an all time all time no nothing can come close to tom and jerry <laughs> yeah uh for some reason when i was a kid i did not let anyone change the channel i i was watching tom and jerry 90% of the time hmm. yeah okay i did not understand uh, i i have been like this uh, if i like something i would just you know completely dedicate myself to that thing only i don't know for some reason you think 
that I would completely be immersed in it. Immersed, immersed. in it. Yeah, yeah. Immersed in it. Dedicate my time to it. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's, uh, it's entertainment, so we use immersed maybe. That's why. No, even another when... word, another beautiful word is engrossed. I was completely engrossed in that. episode so engrossed, engrossed is the right word whether it's a book or a movie or a web series whatever when you're doing when you're completely lost bolte hai na hindi mein kho jate ho aap us cheez mein yeah. that's called engrossed yeah um one more thing when it's about uh, a visual experience or uh, we are enjoying something we are indulging something passively then we are using these terms na right and no, it's not about no engrossed is when you're actively doing something not passively okay like for example i have this book okay, okay. it's a amaz- it's an amazing book i have started reading it it's a conscious decision it's not passive like i'm an active reader so i love the story to main is book mein kho jati hu so i can say i'm engrossed in this book it's a okay. conscious activity okay it's a conscious activity okay active not passive okay yeah okay not fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> if you can remember some of your childhood memories what was your funniest childhood memory that you remember the funniest childhood memory this is one that my mom keeps retelling and she never seems to get tired uh, see every evening at 6 pm was yeah. my study time like i had to come and sit and start studying so once what i did i took my textbooks and i hid it in the refrigerator so that when my mom calls me for studies i'll be like oh i don't have the book only so i did it once i hid it in the refrigerator my mom searched the entire house like from top to bottom she couldn't find it she thought maybe she has lost it and i was outside playing with my cousins enjoying that whole day So this is something that I remember. That's my mom keeps telling. That's really funny. That that's really funny. And uh, one thing I remember the same way that you do, the same way my mom also, uh, you know, can't stop telling others that uh, when I was a kid and uh, anything new that uh, uh, kind of a thing yeah. to eat or a thing, a new thing, a new, a new toy that came into the house. and uh, i was playing with it and uh, for some reason mom has you know kept it uh, somewhere uh, above in the almira so i can't access okay. it so now what i what i'll do is i'll just you know um, somehow uh, put one of my leg onto a staircase or something to hold on yeah. and then i will climb it yeah i'll climb on that and uh, grab that thing <laughs> yes okay but now i'll start crying Huh. Crying for help. Now I cannot. Okay. I cannot come down. And yeah, I did it repeatedly a lot of times. Huh? A lot of times. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Yeah, I completely get it. So that's really funny. That's something that kids like to do, right? Being playful, being mischievous. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. um tell me when we have just 1 minute left because the suggestion the feedback is uh, most important for me you know is right i can give you the feedback right away okay yeah. so you you have a great vibe uh, arjun like excellent so you're so energetic so positive when someone talks to you i can see that they can they'll automatically have a smile on their face so you bring that kind of an energy so great job your mm-hmm. english is fine you're quite a fluent speaker fluency means thinking about something and speaking simultaneously without pausing for too long Okay. that's good one thing that i can see is when you're talking you try to be very formal with your words right like you try to be extremely formal yeah uh, yeah so you try to hunt for words that are very professional in their nature but my suggestion to you would be when you're interacting with somebody in um, a more personal environment for example these sessions these are semi formal in nature yeah. let loose okay try to use some normal vocabulary that's fun Yeah. right instead of trying to find something that's always professional yeah okay so professional vocabulary formal words you can reserve it for maybe meetings for interviews okay when you are presenting something like yeah. a presentation seminar that time you can do it but when you're when you're having conversation with your students or your colleagues yeah. etc so chill just take it easy enjoy yeah. your conversations yeah. okay so that's the feedback. yeah um uh, it was quite an elaborate feedback and uh, your kind words means a lot to me <laughs> and uh, actually i am trying to be a lot assiduous right now because oh, wow. uh, yeah i am feeling you know feeling the heat 
<laughs> feeling the heat huh? of uh, life right now to be climb the ladder to climb the ladder as quick as i can so okay that's why i'm challenging myself day in and day out and uh, these sessions are uh, just you know part of part of that experience right now i'm facing mm. so yeah i right. also constantly review these sessions uh, whenever i make a mistake or whenever i i could do better so i try to Very do good. that great so keep reviewing it and since you told me to remind you there's just one more minute left the session might auto cut any second i had an amazing session with you i had a blast talking to you and i look forward to meeting you again